Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to conduct the next quiz on this channel and this is quiz number 4. The topic for the quiz is UiPath activities. So this is the fourth quiz in case you have not seen the previous one. I will put the links in the descriptions and you can refer that. If you are coming to this quiz for the first time, let us see what exactly we do in this quizzes, right? So there would be total of 15 questions. Today, the topic we have chosen is UiPath activities. You would have 15 seconds to answer each question. So once the question is displayed on the screen, you would have a timer of 15 seconds that would be indicated by this orange color line which you can see at the bottom. This is a timer of 15 seconds. After this 15 second has been completed, the correct answer would be displayed on the screen, right? So you would have the correct answer for that question. Now, what is expected you from as an audience? So you would have to just write down the answer if you are aware of or at the end, you just have to comment your score. So now I expect that you do not cheat and you just put the correct score at the end. And I hope now the rules are clear. So now let's go to the quiz and all the best for the quiz. Okay, so now let's move to the first question. What is the activity that is used to kill a process in UiPath? So before starting any automation, we want the environment to be clean and I want to kill certain EXEs. Now, which is the activity which we use? Is it terminate process? B stop process, C kill exe or D kill process. So the timer has started. What is the activity that we use to kill a process in UiPath? Is it A, B, C or D? I hope you have got the answer and the correct answer is kill process. Okay, so we have an activity which is called kill process that is used to kill any exes in UiPath. You just have to put the exe name. For example, if I want to kill Excel, I just write Excel in the double quotes and it kills the Excel. Okay, so I hope you got this right. Let me move to the next question. Okay, so we have an activity in UiPath which is called element exist. Now element exist is an activity which tells you whether that element is available or not. Now the question is element exist activity output will be some kind of variable. You have to tell me which is that variable. Would it be a text? Would it be a boolean? Would it be an object or would it be generic? Okay. So output of element exist activity would be a text, boolean, object or generic. And the correct answer is boolean. Right, so element exist activity will give you true or false. If the element exists on the screen, it will give you true. If the element does not exist on the screen, it will give you false. Right, so if it is true and false, so the output of the element exist would be Boolean. I hope you got this question correct. Let's move to the third question. What is the activity that is used to display the message in the orchestrator logs? Okay, so I have an orchestrator, I have UiPath Studio. I want to have the logs displayed on the orchestrator. Which is the activity I should use? Add log, write log, write message or log message. I hope you got the question. The timer has started. The question is activity used to display the messages in the orchestrator logs. Which activity I should use? A, B, C or D? And the correct answer for this question is D, log message activity. Okay, so if I use an activity which is called log message, whatever I write here, I have to set a certain level and that message would be available in the orchestrator logs in the jobs pane when the jobs is running. Okay, so let's move to question number four. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. I am writing an automation and Microsoft Office is not installed on my machine. Okay, so this NA means not available. Microsoft Office is not available on the machine and I have to read an Excel. Now, which activity I am going to use to read Excel if Excel is not installed or the Microsoft Office is not installed? Is it the Excel application scope? Is it the read range of workbook? Is it the read range of Excel? Or is it some activity called read file? Okay, so the timer has started. The question is Office is not installed on the machine and you have to read the Excel for some automation right now which of this activity you are going to use a b c or d and the correct answer is 
read range for workbook okay so we have two read range which are available one is for excel application scope and one is for workbook so workbook will work even when the office is not installed on the machine i hope you got this answer correct okay so before we move to the next question that is question number five i just want to quickly show you that there is a complete playlist on excel automation which is available which is a series of 23 videos that completes the complete excel automation and some real-time scenarios as well in case you are a beginner feel free to explore this playlist okay so here comes the question number five there is an automation which i am writing which needs an input from the user i have to take some input from the user now which is the activity which i am going to use get input take input input dialog or input box we need some input from the user which is the activity that we are going to use in UiPath Studio to get an input from the user? And the correct answer is input dialog. Okay, so there is an activity which is called input dialog. If I use this activity, it will show a pop up on the screen and you can put a message, you can put a label, and it will ask the input from the user and store it in some kind of variable. So the correct answer for this question is option number C, which is input dialog. Okay, let's move forward. Now here is the question number six. Activity used to read the username and the password from orchestrator. Okay, so I am writing some automation where we have to log into some application. As a best practice, we have stored the username and the password in the orchestrator. Now I want to use the username and the password in studio. Which activity should I use? Is it the get credential, get password, get asset or read password? Okay, so the question is which activity should I use to get the credential from the orchestrator, right? A, B, C or D. And the correct answer is option number A, get credential. You have to use this activity and you can actually get the username and the password from the orchestrator. I hope you got this answer correct. And let's move to the next question, which is question number seven. Okay, so this comes from the follow-up question. Password from the get credential activity is a variable of what type? So, okay, just now we have seen that I'm going to use a get credential activity that will give me a username and the password. Now, the question is, if you get the password, in what variable type you are going to store the password or the default password store in what kind of variable? Is it string, secure string, object, or it's a generic variable? Okay, so password from the get credential activity is a variable of what type a b c or d so let's wait for the correct answer i hope you got this answer correct and the correct answer is option number b secure string so whenever you are using an activity called get credential you will get username and the password username would be a string and the password would be a variable of type secure string that means the password would be encrypted and it would be in a form of secure string right so the correct answer is option number b okay so let's move to the next question which is question number eight okay so this is how to get the desktop path of the machine okay so what this question actually means so i am working on an automation i am not sure that what would be the desktop path and i need to save some file in the desktop now how as an user i would know or a developer what would be the desktop path now there are certain activities which are available so the question is which activity among those will you use to get the desktop path of the machine where the automation is working is it get desktop path get absolute path get the folder or get environment folder right so you have to tell me the correct activity to get the desktop path of the machine where the automation is working which activity i'm going to use okay and the correct answer is get environment folder right so there is an activity which is called get environment folder that let you to get the path of the environment right so get environment folder will help you to get the desktop path okay so now this desktop path and this thing is called the special folder so we have certain special folders which are available in uipath which you can use in your automation with the help of activity called get environment variables and get environment folder there is a dedicated video where i am talking about the special folders i have put the links in the description for your reference in case you are not aware feel free to explore that video okay so let's move to the next question question number nine is i want to 
get the extract structure data okay so what is the best technique to use to extract the structure data there is a data which is in a form of rows and columns right that is what it is called structure data i want to extract the data and store in somewhere right which of this i am going to use am i going to use screen scraping am i going to use data scraping am i going to use the read table or the read full text okay so we have to extract the structure data we are looking for the best way to extract the structure data and the correct answer is data scraping right so data scraping is available in the uipath studio this come with the ui automation activities you have to just go to the data scraping and it is the best way to extract the structured data from any of the sources i hope you got this question correct and i hope you enjoying this video if that is the case please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel okay so now let's move to the next question which is question number 10 advanced tool to create custom selector for a specific ui element okay so there is an advanced tool available in ui path okay which help you to create a specific custom selector for ui element now which is that advanced tool is it a ui path assistant is it selector explorer is it wildcard or is it ui explorer so you have to just tell me the name of the tool which is used to create custom selector for a specific ui element and the correct answer is ui explorer okay so ui explorer is an advanced tool which comes in the context of selector that help you to build custom selector using certain properties right so the correct answer is ui explorer okay so i hope you got this question correct let me move to the next question which is question number 11 we are working on an automation and the reliable selector is not there what should be used right the reliable selector means that the selector which we have created is not able to properly identify the element should we use anchor base find the selector click activity or none of the above right so the question is reliable selector is not there what can be used i hope you got the answer correct for this one and the correct answer is anchor base right so anchor base is an activity which you can use in case the selector is not reliable you can actually use some stable selectors as an anchor right and that will make your selector dynamic okay now before i move forward i just want to show you that there is a complete dedicated playlist on uipath selectors which is a 14 video playlist where i am talking all of this bit in detail we are exploring the weight attribute set web attribute property explorer ui framework ui explorer everything in detail so if you are new to selectors feel free to explore the playlist i'll put the links in the description okay so next is question number 12 activity to command control plus a2 on automation i am writing an automation and i have to pass a command such as control a control b shift a control alt delete right now which activity can help me to accomplish this task is it send hotkey is it send the shortcut is it set to clipboard or is it not possible at all to do such kind of automation where we want to pass some keys right so the correct answer is send hotkey okay so we have an activity in ui path which is called send hotkey as soon as i drag and drop you would have control alt and shift and a drop down you can actually select the key which you want to send so if i want to send control plus a all i have to do is use this activity select control and a and when i run this automation a control plus a shortcut would be sent to the automation right so the correct answer is send hotkey okay so coming next is question number 13 activity to exit the loops right we are working on some loop which may be for each which may be while or any kind of loop i want to break the loop there is certain activity has happened and now i want to break and exit from the loop now which is an activity which is available in ui path to exit the loop is it break is it b exit c terminate or d skip i'll repeat the question activity to exit the loop and the correct answer is break right so break is an activity that would work only in the context of loops you just have to drag and drop the break activity inside a loop and whenever the condition is satisfied the loop will break right so the correct answer is option number a break 
okay so now let's move to the next question which is question number 40 activity used to generate the business exception okay so i have to generate a business exception now there are kinds of exception categorized as system and business exception i want to generate a business exception such as the password is incorrect there is no money in the atm right some kind of business exception which activity i am going to use is it throw is it assign is it throws or none of the above right so the question is which activity you will use in ui path to generate a business exception a b c or d right so the correct option is option number a which is throw so we are going to use a throw activity to generate a business exception before moving to the next question i just want to show you that there is a complete playlist which is available on the channel which is for exception handling where we are explaining all the importance of exception handling covering all the activities covering all the details right so in case you are a beginner to the exception handling i'll put the playlist list in the description to refer for the exception handling let's move to the final question okay so i want to clear all the data from a data table which is the activity that we are going to use to clear all the data from the data table is it clean data table delete data table clear data table or clear the rows okay so the question is simple this is the last question activity to clear all the data from the data table a b c or d okay so the correct answer for this question is clear data table okay so we have an activity in ui path which is called clear data table we have to just drag and drop this provide the data table name and it will clear all the data from the data table I hope you got the answer correct and now I hope you have the final score with you. Okay, so that is all for this video. I would like to wrap this video here. Thank you for watching. Just let me know in the comments that what was your final score and also let me know any of the topics which you want me to create the quiz for. So that is all for this video. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation.